Hi guys and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about what the best prokinetic is for IBS and SIBO. And this is not my opinion. This has nothing to do with that. I have been conducting an experiment for the last year or two with my patients, asking them to try out different prokinetics and give me feedback. And you might be surprised, I have a very clear winner. So I'll share that with you in the video to follow. Okay, so we'll work our way up from the bottom up and I'll give you a little bit of a run through of each product and where you can find them. But the loser, and all, or the loser thus far, that was kind of rude. The loser thus far in the running might really, really surprise you guys. Coming in at only 10% of people favoring this prokinetic, Motel Pro. Ooh. So here's the deal. If you guys haven't been in the IBS and SIBO community for as long as I have, the deal is that when we first started hearing about prokinetics in the herbal world, the only two options we really had available was a capsule called Motil Pro from Pure Encapsulations or a liquid called Iberogast. And they changed the formula with Iberogast. There was an issue a few years ago, so I don't really use it much, but this was the product, particularly in the functional medicine space, the integrative medicine, Pure Encapsulations is a very well-respected company. So a lot of us just tried to use Motil Pro. And I did that about five years ago when I was really taking a deeper dive into SIBO. I started thinking, gosh, this prokinetic like motility thing really seems like it's at the forefront of SIBO. I need to get my patients on prokinetic. And I'll tell you what, guys, I mean, the numbers don't lie. When I had that ability where I did that, and I had people try Motil Pro, literally none of them that I tried this with had any sort of symptomatic benefit from it. And I'm over there scratching my head. I was like, well, I guess prokinetics aren't that helpful. I was so wrong. The problem is that the formula that we had available at the time, for whatever reason, just doesn't really work for the majority of people. Now, it's not a bad product. It looks lovely on paper. And again, that company is very well respected and I use a lot of their stuff, but the, the point of this video, a lot of it at least, is that if you are watching me on YouTube or Facebook and you don't know where to start, you know that you need a prokinetic because you have SIBO, but you don't know which one to pick, I would not start with Motil Pro. I don't think there's a high, high likelihood that Motil Pro is going to be super impactful and amazing for you. There's a possibility there's about a 10% chance from my current data with about 100 patients that I've done this with, there's about a 10% chance that that's going to be the one for you. But looking at these statistics, wouldn't you want to pick this one first just to give it a go? And if that one doesn't work, you move on and you go down in that order. That's how I'm choosing to use this data. And I've been using that too, but I still have my patients do the experimentation because like I said, 10% of people end up really liking that product. Now, the second one is a little bit of a newer kit on the block. It is a product called SIBO MMC. And that product right now in my data is tied with Motil Pro. It comes in just shy of 10%, about 10% of the time people love it. Otherwise, people don't think it does much for them. But again, this is the same thing. It's not a bad product. The people who like SIBO MMC swear by it. And that's like their godsend right now. So it's worth trying. Would I try it first? Or would it be my only prokinetic? Like if I, well, I do have a clinic. But like if I was a practitioner watching this video and I thought I just need a prokinetic for my office, I wouldn't necessarily start with SIBO MMC or Motil Pro because those are the ones that tend to come in the running a little bit lower down the totem pole. Now, the third one, moving our way up, also tied at 10%, but there's a caveat, which is why there's an asterisk next to it, is Acetyl CH Active by Apex Energetics. And the thing about this one, I've done a few videos on it. I accidentally discovered that it was a prokinetic. Uh, I'll try to link that in the doobly-doo or up top or wherever the buttons go. But I accidentally discovered this is a prokinetic because I overdosed on the stuff when I was in grad school. It's kind of a funny story looking back in retrospect, although it was scary at the time. But I have been incorporating this into my prokinetic trial and error because I just had a hypothesis that some people would like it. And they do. But I will point this out. 10% it stacks up with the other two, and that doesn't seem that splendid. But depending on how you look at my numbers, so what I do is I have people speed date and try each one for one week. And then I have them report back what their top choice is and how they felt. And if they have a runner up, if there's a second one that they really like, then that is number two. And what we'll typically do is like start them on the winner for a while. And if we need to layer in a second one, we will do so. Acetyl CH active doesn't make the number one spot super, super frequently but it does come in second a lot to a point where 
acetyl CH active could be tied for second place with this next product, depending on how you crunch the numbers. If I had the data pooled for products that either come in first or second, then acetyl CH active would tie with the next one. If I'm just purely looking at people's number one choice and no other way, I, which is how I have my formula set on the Excel spreadsheet, then acetyl CH active comes in right around the same as these other ones. But I will say that sometimes I'll use that and I'll layer it on top of the others because they seem to work in slightly different ways. Now, coming in at 19%, so getting quite a lot better, is a product called Prokine. This, in particular, Prokine and Motil Pro in particular, but also SIBO MMC to some extent, are really more complex blends. Whereas the winner, for example, and one that I'm still experimenting with, are very simple products. They only have two or three ingredients in them, which is very kind of humdrum if you look at it that way. But these two, like Prokine and Motil Pro, they have some 5-HTP, they've got some ginger, they've got you know, Prokide has some vitamin B1. I think it might have a teeny bit of folate. So it's a much wider variety of stuff that you're getting. And it also means that you're probably not getting as much of certain ingredients. Like you're not gonna get as much ginger as though you had ginger in just a capsule by itself, for example. So the complex blends work really well for people who need the broader support for whatever reason, but it's not the be all end all for everybody. But about 20% of the time, people really end up liking Prokine. And then finally, the number one drum roll, Please is the new kid on the block or the relatively newer kid. Oh my gosh, that's ugly. Hold on. That is uglier. Motility activator, integrative therapeutics. It's the new kid on the block. It's only been around for two years, maybe, plus or minus a little bit, I'm not even sure. And that consistently comes in at 50%, topping out the charts and frankly, blowing everybody else out of the stinking water. About 50% of the time, people come back and they're like, you know, I had amazing poops, my bloating was reduced, I felt like a million bucks, whatever the case may be, whatever their symptoms are, they come back and they're like, I wanna be on that one again. So. If you are watching this on YouTube or Facebook or social media and you're just thinking, where do I start? Get you a bottle of Motility Activator. I'll put a link to a company called Carewell, or I'm sorry, um, I'll have to double check and see if they carry it on Carewell. I'll try to put a link in the doobly-doo so that you can get that on your own through the internet. Um, but Motility Activator has just been truly life-changing for some of my patients. It's been damn near miraculous. And that is where I would start the process. If you go through a whole bottle of Motility Activator and you don't feel like it does much of anything at all, then I would probably move on to Prokine. And then you could think about some of the other ones as well. But I will set you up with links down below so that you can order any of these that you want. But again, I'm really strongly recommending starting with Motility Activator. And then finally, it is worth noting, there's two more that are down at the bottom that I'm still playing quite a lot with, actually three technically. Like I said, there is Iberogast, which you can get online on Amazon. I haven't really tinkered with it much, if for no other reason, because most people prefer capsules to liquids and it's just a little bit easier when you're on the go. So I haven't really played with it too, too much, but that is something that you could consider. There is a new one on the block, new enough that I don't remember the name. Hold on, squinting at my computer. GI Motility Complex. I'm very, very intrigued by this one because it has the exact same ingredients as Motility Activator, plus a little bit of powdered apple cider vinegar. But literally the dose, the amount of the two ingredients that's in Motility Activator is the same. So it's Motility Activator plus a little bit of something extra. And I'm really curious to start my new round of data collection and introduce this one into the mix and have people try that because I wonder if it's going to be even better than Motility Activator or if it's gonna somehow not be as good. I will let you know, again, it takes me a while to collect this data. I've been doing this now for a year or two. So it'll probably be a year from now when I update you again, but I will let you know how this new kit on the block stacks up because that is the newest one that I've seen. The other thing too, is that sometimes I'll make tinctures for people and like mix up my own liquids. I don't really do that a lot and it's not practical to tell you about on the internet because you don't really want to mix and match and like play mad scientist. But I do have that in the mix for some people and I play around with it. And then finally, the other one that's still a mystery that I'm playing with is MegaGuard. This is from the same company that makes the Megaspore Probiotic. 
and it looks pretty promising. It's got artichoke, it's got ginger, so very similar to this, plus a little bit of licorice. I like the look of it on paper. When I've tried it, a couple of people said that it was their number two, but I've only had one person so far say it's their number one. The problem though is that right now it's so new. I only started using it in the last couple of months. So really I need better data collection because right now it looks really crappy in the running, but it's also because I just started introducing it. So it might just be that I haven't given it enough time to really perform yet. So as it stands right now, these ones I have tested out the wazoo. I've had about hundred people try each of these, speed dating, report back and let me know. The winner by far tends to be Motility Activator. Number two, coming in at 20% is Prokine. Roughly 10% plus a little bit if you include the second runner-up choicing is Acetyl CH Active from Apex Energetics. And then tied at the bottom right now is SIBO MMC and Motil Pro. Like I said, MegaGuard and Iberogast and this new one, GI Motility Complex, like those are kind of up for grabs right now because they're a little newer or I just haven't used them as much. But I will do another update in the next probably year and let you know where where this all falls and what happens with this, uh, this experiment. And finally, if you're watching this video, you think, ah, gosh, okay, now I know a prokinetic, but like, what else do I do? How do I treat my SIBO and my IBS? And like, what do I do? Good news, I've got two ways that I can help you that I'm really excited to share. First and foremost, my online course, FODMAP Freedom in 90 Days, is enrolling now. This week only is the enrollment in that it closes and we're gonna go right into the fall cohort. So if you want to treat your IBS and SIBO naturally and at home, learn more about prokinetics, learn more about the vagus nerve and motility and leaky gut and all this crap, pun intended, now is your chance. Go ahead and register at the link in the doobly-doo down below. Again, registration closes Sunday at midnight, and then that's it for this year. The other way that I can help you is if you feel like you need more one-on-one -on -one help or if you have a lot of questions, I do appointments with people both in and out of the state of North Carolina. If you're local to North Carolina, I would love to meet you in person and do a physical exam and the whole kit and caboodle. But even if you live somewhere else, we could do a lot of this work via Zoom and then we could get down to the nitty gritty and the specifics of what's holding you back and what kind of things you need to keep in mind for your SIBO and your root causes and your microbiome. And we could do a lot of that virtually via Zoom. So if you'd like information about FODMAP Freedom in 90 days or for one-on-one -on -one consultations with me, go ahead and click the link in the doobly-doo down below and I would be delighted to see you in either of those capacities. Otherwise, keep YouTubing. I've got tons of videos, so enjoy. Hey guys, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, ring the bell, click the like button and leave a comment down below with the videos that you would like to see me do next. Doing all of those really helps support the channel and support my efforts in making as many videos as possible for you guys. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video.